Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to build a badge in openbadges.me. My name is Ellie Cole, I'm the marketing manager here at my knowledge map, the creators of openbadges.me and over the next six minutes I'll take you through a short tutorial on how you can build a badge within the system. Now firstly it's important to know that a digital badge is much more than an online image of a badge. It includes data which is combined with the image to ensure the badge is unique, credible and also so that badge recipient and wider audience knows what the badge represents, who it was issued by and when it was issued. So there are two parts to a digital badge. There's the image and the data built into the badge. And I'll take you through both stages of creating the badge within this tutorial. Within openbadges.me, the whole system is founded upon organizations and groups. So firstly, we need to create the organization we want to be able to issue those badges. It could be your organization, a partner organization, and groups within those organizations could be departments, teams, faculties, and this enables those groups to be able to issue badges in their own right. In this circumstance, we've already created my knowledge map as an organization to be issuing those badges. So, as I mentioned, the first step, we need to create the issuer. So we go to create the issuer. We give that issuer a name. In this case, it's marketing team. We select the organization associated with that issuer. We give the issuer an address and a description. We also finally upload a logo for that particular issuer and click save. So that's our issuer created, and we will select that issuer when we create the badge and decide to issue that badge. So the first step, as I mentioned, to a digital badge is to create the graphic for that badge. We select create a graphic. You can build the badge within the system itself using our graphic design tool, or you can design the graphic outside of the system and then upload it yourself. In this case, we've already created a graphic. So I'm gonna give that graphic a name. I'm going to give it a description and I'm going to choose the graphic itself. And then I'm going to publish that graphic. So this is the first step and of creating a digital badge. The next step is baking the information into that badge. So for this, I'm going to go to managing badges. So to create that badge, select create badge. I'm going to select the graphic associated with that badge. And if we had created more graphics, then more graphics would appear here to be able to select if we wish to choose and select other badges. So I'm going to give the badge a name. I'm going to give it a description. I can also give it an expiry date, which is particularly useful for any certifications that may expire on, expire on an annual or a monthly basis, for example. So in this case, I'm going to leave this and not give it an expiry date. I can select the language, the issuer, which is of course marketing team. I can then give criteria for the badge. Now this is what the individual has had to have done to be able to be awarded with that particular badge. In this case, it's going to be for those recipients who have completed the how to build a badge tutorial. We've got quite simple criteria in this case, but you could include more complex criteria here. You can also, for example, if you already have a landing page developed for a course, which somebody may have completed, then you can include the URL for that particular course as the criteria for this badge. Then what we have here, which is completely unique to open badges, don't we? And I love this feature because it just adds so much more value to the badge. And that is you can give it any attribute that you wish. So in this case, um, example, we have three hours of CPD, which we can attribute to this badge. So continuing professional development hours. But in this case, we're going to just give it 10 kudos points. Um, add the attribute. So this could be uh, taken one step further, for example, and you can include a discount perhaps for a nearby store, 
It could be a number of credits uh, for a particular module. It could be um, a number of hours, as I said, for CPD. So there's lots of different ways in which you can use this creatively to add more credibility and value to the badges you want to issue. Now we finally have our badge. We have all the criteria outlined, all of the details outlined, and the badge attribute itself. That will be baked into the badge to, to create the final unique badge. I'm then going to publish that badge. And that is our final badge created. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial on how to build a badge. If you have any more questions around how to build a badge with an open badges.me, any additional support you might need, just get in touch with us at info at openbadges.me and we, we will be happy to help. Thanks very much.